Hi everybody, and today we're here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and we're here on the North Carolina side. Uh, we're here at Mingus Mill. Mingus Mill is the biggest mill here in the National Park, and it's still in working order. The National Park grounds up um, cornmeal and flour, and you can actually buy it right here. Um, so we're going to take a look at that, and then we're just going to show you a little bit around. Now this is located uh, just just down the road from the O'Connell Lifty Visitor Center as you head into Cherokee, North Carolina, right? Right. Okay, so now this bridge here, which you can tell is brand new, is going to take us to the mill. Ready? Ready. Let's do this. They have restrooms located here at the Mingus Mill parking lot. You'll come to this parking lot just before you reach Okana Lifty Visitor Center just as you enter Cherokee. Mingus Mill, an 1886 turn by mill. For over 50 years, the mill you're approaching ground corn and mill into wheat flour for the Mount communities near Mingus Mill. In place of a wooden water wheel, a small steel turbine provided power to run the mill stones machinery rehabited by the National Park Service in 1968 the mill operates during the summer as an historical exhibit and um, that's where we're going to be heading today so this bridge is new from the last time we were here beautiful river here flowing and as soon as you cross that bridge you'll see the Mingus Mill so unlike your traditional grist mills this one here doesn't have its traditional uh, paddle wheel, water wheel. This one here troughs water from the river down this amazing trough system. Mingus Mill, you didn't make it without corn. Everyone ate cornmeal, sometimes two or three times a day. And as you can see here, the water then fills up that cylinder, which then turns that turbine, making the millstones work. Beautiful mill. So you could follow this trough all the way upstream to where it comes off the river. Uh, quite impressive, isn't it? Um, yeah. yeah, and um, and the the coolness of the uh, the water here actually makes this a pleasant area on a hot day. So yeah, we're gonna head back to the mill. And we're gonna see what kind of uh, what they're milling up, right? Yeah, so milling up. <laughs> milling up, right? I mean, you know, who knows, right? <laughs> Let's go in and check out the the mill here.
there's the millstones there. There's your meal there. Different things you can read on the walls here. Tell you about the history of the uh, Mingus Mill. Addressing the millstones. Go upstairs here and check out what's going on up here. So they got more, more little plaques about the history here. And then um, while you look out these, these windows here. Now this here is for, I believe, um, wheat. This has to do with um, wheat production. I mean, you see some of the workings of. It's a wheat cleaner. Yeah, the wheat. It's a wheat cleaner. Yep. But uh, definitely beautiful. So we've heard a lot of reports, especially from new subscribers. Uh, you guys talk a lot about this place being haunted. No, I don't. I'm skeptical on the haunting thing. But I've heard stories about like a little girl that like roams around here, and uh, you can see her looking out the windows. Um, uh, some people report that she'll walk by them, and then a few seconds later she's not there. So, is it spooky, Dawn? Yeah. <laughs> I figured uh, just a little uh, insight. Every time we run across people, they always say, "Hey guys, seen yeah, the Mingus Mill is like." I seen it from my own eyes, so eh, just a little tidbit of information for you folks out there looking for uh, a spooky time, I guess, here in the Smokies, right? right. But anyways, um, okay, we're gonna head back downstairs, and there's actually a third level, but you can't get to it. No, they got that locked off. And that's what that one guy was telling us that he saw a little girl go up the stairs, and then she, he realized that you couldn't go up there. There was like no way of getting up there. So, ooh, spooky. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna. We're gonna go down, and then we're gonna we're gonna go see what else we can get into trouble-wise, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely worth a stop. Now, as you're coming from Gatlinburg, and you get over the North Carolina side, you start coming down. You, just before you get to Alcana Lifty, uh, definitely pull off. It's just off the parking lot. It's not stressful. It's not even a hike. It's just a no. little walk. Definitely worth the stop, guys. Um, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to Okana Lifty Visitor Center, right? We just left uh, Mingus Mill not more than 30 seconds ago, and we're coming up to the Okana Lifty Visitor Center here in Cherokee. And we're gonna pull off and uh, check out what Okana Lifty Center is all about. And down there is a farm, a mountain farm that's been restored back to its uh, its glory there, I guess. And then over here is the visitor center. A visitor center is, I always say, is a must stop, um, especially if you're going to be doing a uh, adventure at a national park. Uh, they got information on like road closures, uh, things to be aware of. You get a buzzard. You can get a Lego Klingman's Dome, or a bear, or a deer. That's really cool. They have a museum here that tells you about the way of life here in the Smokies. Talks about the, the millstones and Of course, moonshining was a big part of the mountain life. And what's this, Don? Lift the lid to 
for one method of preserving apples, the hot, red hot axe. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. But uh, there's the different tools that they used in the farming and cultivating of the mountains. Of course, here's a map showing the the farms here in the Smokies. So, Dawn, what are you learning about the the logging of the area? Yeah. It gives you um, different different it talks facts. Talks about the logging and what, this, what they use for the logging area, the floodwaters. How they use the rivers to float the, the logs down. They got items from the Smoke Mont store. It was really cool. They got a clock and a lantern, some china. Beautiful day here in the Smokies. Uh, we're sitting at what? Probably about 75 degrees. Perfect. Of course, we're walking along the river here. Um, just beautiful, isn't it? So we're going to check out the mountain farm here. Now, I made a video previously of this farm. And I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can check that one out too. So there's an audio tour available at the visitor center for those who want to go on an audio tour. But we're going to come here and admire this beautiful farm here definitely gives you an insight on what it was like to live here in the Smoky Mountains. Well, we got these beautiful, beautiful flowers here. But, um, yes. Beautiful old cabin here. And over here, this here is the uh, meat house. This is where you would uh, you would hang and, and dry your meats. Now, certain times of year, they actually open all these barns and and the house and all that. They also have artisans that come out, and they will make um, all kinds of stuff and show you what it's like to live here in the mountains. Also, they will. Um, there's a blacksmith and everything else but we're kind of in the off season for that but here is a uh, an apple orchard here and they put these uh, fences up to keep the elk from eating the apples so um, as you can see right there there's um, apples coming in. As you can see, there's some apples coming in. Now these apple trees are heirloom apples. Um, they've been here since, well, been here since the beginning of uh, this farm. Pretty cool. Some kind of uh, pen here. Doesn't have a description. But um, probably for some kind of animals. I think there's a little, maybe the chickens or something. But anyways, there's Dawn. You having a good time? You reading what's, what this is about over here? Oh, yeah. These are about the milk a lot. Yeah, so anyways, a lot of folks want to come to see the elk. Well, sometimes in the evenings here, this field here is filled full of elk. So your best, one of your best viewing spots for elk are in this field, especially during rut. Dawn and I have found this field to be filled full of elk during rut. But um, yeah, and over here, this is the apple house. This is where you would, uh, of course, store your apples. You, get, you see your bends on each side where you would you'd put your apples. Um, definitely cool. And they got these big, huge fences here. Probably keep their uh, 
their cattle, maybe their horses, whatever. Definitely a beautiful farm here. Here's a sorghum mill and furnace. This is where they make uh, melt down the cane to make molasses and stuff. Here's the corn cribs. That's where they would store their, their corn. Of course, that's your, your traditional cantilever barn that you find here in the Smokies over that way. And this here is uh, more corn storage. Usually during the summer months, there will be hogs in here, but the hogs are, are not here today. So definitely when you come over to the North Carolina side of the Smokies, and uh, you're, especially if you come from Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge, definitely stop here at the Okana Lifty Center. Um, definitely take in the little exhibit museum they have inside. Take a look at this farm. And definitely cross the street, head over to that Mingus Mill, right? Right. But, well, that's going to do it for today here. And if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe so you don't miss any more of these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And we're going to have plenty of Smoky Mountain Adventures just around the corner. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.